go. Okay, it says we're live, so hopefully we are. I think yes, Fritzy, we know we're late. It's my fault. Fritzy. We're not late. It's seven on the dot. Or should I call you Rose? Well, the name of the girl eight o'clock in the morning. We are late. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Rose the name of the girl in the Titanic that he made himself out? I don't know. Did you watch that movie? No, I Googled it right before we started, <laughs> so when he came on, I could say it to him. Yeah, uh, yes, her name was Rose. <laughs> is everyone here? Because no one's saying anything in the chat. I'm just making sure we are live. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> I'm watching this right now. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, you can see we're one short. Uh, Lonnie from Phoenix Poptastic uh, messaged me a couple hours ago. She has a family emergency. Uh, as far as I know, everything's okay. Um, but yeah, prayers are with her and her family right now. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be the three of us. So hopefully y'all can deal with that. I see Jasmine here. There's Jasmine. <laughs> and uh, Rose was here a minute ago. There she is. And uh, Those James were hilarious. <laughs> it had me laughing all yesterday. <laughs> James is here. Hi, that Jamie. was awesome. Yes. Jimmy Funko, uh, Campbell's Collecting. I see <laughs> Sarah is here. Awesome. Pop Harbor. Trying to get everyone. And I'm already messing up. Are you sneaking back huh? in here, Ray? Huh? Tiffany's sneaking back in here. <laughs> <laughs> she sneaks a lot. <laughs> She gets it from her cats. That's probably exactly true. My cat doesn't sneak. My cat just announces with his fat little self. Nerd crew here. Brian, hi. Hi. I was texting Tylock before all this so I could make sure I get it set up. And I got so many flashbacks to texting Samantha before my first regular live stream from Nerd Crew because I had no idea how to do it. <laughs> so I was like texting Samantha for like two hours before my first live stream to make sure I had everything set up. <laughs> well, that's what friends are for. Yes. Trial um, by error. Trial by error. That's yes. it. Yes, for sure. Jay Lee is here. I have a feeling just because Jay Lee is like the godfather of all things nerd that he might be the one to beat on the quiz tonight. He might be. Because he's just that knowledgeable about everything. Fritzy, I agree. Yeah. He's a prettier girl. I think, I think you were both very, very hot. I do. Mostly thanks to the actresses that you put your face on. But that was amazing. Yes. I looked like that all like, I was about to say, let's just do it. Let, let them dress up. Let's do it. Let's find ladies, right? I mean, <laughs> if they're gonna commit, I feel like I feel like they should get get an opportunity to jump on. Mm -hmm. Yes, if they commit, if they go on full out, go find out where Cody got his dress, y'all, and get another one. Y'all can come on, but it has to be before the stream is over. <laughs> Very hurry. <laughs> dress. Oh. Uh, I don't disagree. Yes. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we got plenty of giveaways tonight. Sheree, you want to show what you're giving away right now? Sure. We're going to give away from Wonder Woman, what, 84? Yes. The cheetah that everybody was like hunting for. So you're saying that it was hard to find earlier? Because if it's hard to find, I haven't gotten that one yet, and it's at my Walmart. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's still hard to find, but I know when it I was got for it, a few months. I know when it, when it came out, there was plenty of Wonder Woman, but no cheap yet. Ours got like the whole wave. Like there was a ton of them at our Walmart. And then we're gonna give away this Harley Quinn, the roller skating one. From Birds of Prey. With from Birds of Prey. What a it's Harley Quinn. <laughs> with a unicorn. Oh, I love the unicorn. I know, isn't that adorable? It's what 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 is those things called? Uh, Unicornos. Uh, uh, Toki Doki. Toki Doki. Yeah. Toki Doki style unicorn. Which is perfect because those are the unicorns that I was doing on my channel when I first started. So. I don't think so. Yeah. Are you say no. Okay. <laughs> okay. You tried. I'm gonna do a parrot for the night, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> so those are from uh, that's from Tylock and me. And the unicorn and the Harley is getting 
are going to be given away in its own yes. and together. They're and together. then the Cheetah one is going to be part of the Kahoot prize package. So, and then Tiffany, you got stickers on standby. Yes. <laughs> Plenty of stickers on standby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> That's funny. And then I got the resin magnets. These are going to be part of the, if I can figure out where the camera is, the Gahoot as well. And if you guys don't like these characters, Sheree picked them out. So, oh, they picked them out. so you're yes. welcome. And then also the Betty Boop uh, diamond pop is going to be given away. All of it is ranked. Really I knew I forgot one link. I forgot random comment picker, but we won't need that till later on in the stream anyway. So that's the one link I didn't get set up. That's all right. I got, everyone, I got everyone's uh, channels and videos set, but not uh, not the random comment picker yet. That's okay. Tylock hardly ever puts any of those links up before the live. Kenneth is here. Kenneth was here first. He was here. I, I checked in. He was here like 40 minutes before we started. Like as soon as I put the notification out. Like holy totally crap. And then, yes, you get to play and you get to lose for yourself tonight. That's so, you'll lose tonight because you're playing for yourself. Just so everyone knows, the only person banned from playing Kahoot is Sheree because she did it yesterday oh, to God, test it out. Yeah, she she tested it out yesterday, and um, she, she did. Yeah, she she would have gotten an F if it was cool. I'm just gonna say that. I'm, I'm not gonna say how bad she did. I won't say how bad she did, but um. Oh, I'll tell everybody. I got two out of ten. Tyler's gonna rag me so much for this dude, and I was built to be ragged about. Just so you know, but <laughs> Kayla is here. Hi. Uh, I haven't put the links in yet, Sarah. We're going to do that in a second. Because I'm going to try and space them out a little bit. I'll go ahead and do the first one, though, which is... Okay, so the first one is for the Red Hood pop that is being given away by James Dieter. Thank you, James, for being you. such an amazing friend and human being. Yeah, he's amazing. Thank you for buying me here, James. Yeah. <laughs> I'll explain the Kahoot in a bit. And the hashtag for everything tonight is just going to be... Unicorn 800, so that people won't be. I'm, I'm like only unicorn. I think active on YouTube, so I hope no one will get too confused. So, but yes, James, I was not expecting him to donate anything for the hoot and or for the live stream rather. And that one, <laughs> she has to go get her boyfriend. <laughs> but he got the red hood, and it was amazing. But yes, she's got her boyfriend slash model behind her now. <laughs> I was like, oh, no way. <laughs> I had one of those when I was little and I had to get rid of it because every time I'd like walk in a room, it would scare the crap out of me. <laughs> when I have game night, I'm going to come in here to grab this chair to pull it out there. It scares me every time. <laughs> <laughs> it never went like, away. Oh every time I saw it, it would like scare the crap out of me. <laughs> we, uh, my mom and I went to Big Lots today to get her a phone charger. And they were already set up for Halloween. And they had one of those animatronic scarecrows. And they had a button on the floor. So I'm like, okay, it's one where you have to step on the button. Nope. <laughs> it was it startled me. But man, it scared the crap out of her. Like, she's not a cusser. She cussed. That's hilarious. I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. That's when you contact the store for the, the video of it. Yes. <laughs> I wish. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I like being the only one. I'm like Tigger. I like being the only unicorn. Well, there's a zombie unicorn somewhere. I don't think she's active. I don't think she posts videos. Well, does she? I have no idea if she does videos or not, to be honest with you. I know she's in our like live streams and stuff. Yeah, but. I've seen her in the live streams, but I don't think uh, she's on YouTube. She needs to be. Everyone should be on YouTube if they can stand. I agree. <laughs> Dana will fight us to get away from animatronics. That is true. My child has never done well in the spirit store. Like what he was eight, old enough not to be a screamer, and we were just like like browsing down the costume aisles, not even near the animatronics, and like he's like cowering in like the aisle with like the dresses and stuff. And this girl, this poor lady, she walks around the aisle like shopping, and Daniel screams and she freaks out, and we had to leave after that because it was just really embarrassing. 
<laughs> I there was a wax museum in Brands, Missouri. It's still there. And they thought it was a great idea to take me through it when I was a kid. First off, the ver it's changed a little bit now, but the very first thing that was in there when you walked in was King Kong's face, like a life size. That's cool. A King Kong's face. Not when you're a kid and you're walking into its mouth. It's not. Uh, and then when you get on in there a little ways, like I, like it had like Lucille Ball and stuff, like you know that, like mm -hmm. I Dream of Genie and Bewitch and Dolly Parton, all that crap. Of course, I remember all the women, but. Um, I was fine with that, but then when we got to the monster, we got to the monster part, and I was like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> like, yep. They were just standing there, but I was still scared crapless. Not okay. <laughs> well, we did San Antonio a couple years ago, and they have that uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, and then the, the Wax Museum right next door, so we did both of them. And Dana was all right through, like, like Disney and you know, all the people. And then, yeah, it was like, you go downstairs into like the horror section and he was like not having it at all. And then like, to get out to go back upstairs, you have to go through like this hallway with like these hanging, like cocoons, hanging bodies. <laughs> so, so Daniel's like got his eyes closed. Cause he's, he's just not okay. And I'm like guiding him through, but he hit one like on his shoulder and like freaked out and like hit the floor and was like literally in a ball. At oh my play, gosh! Just screaming, so yeah, yeah. See, Kayla agrees that museum was freaky, and it's still. I went through it again a couple years ago. I didn't go through the horror part just because I'm not into it anymore. But it was boring as crap now. <laughs> but now they got it. So instead of King Kong being right there, they actually built a skyscraper on top of the building. So he's actually on top of the Empire State Building up there. So he's not trying to drag you in anymore. <laughs> Well, that's not nearly. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. It, it was embarrassing. We seemed like really bad parents. We are friends, Fritzy. I told you, get a dress, and you're welcome to be here. No, because he doesn't have a wrench. Oh, that's why I don't even have the YouTube part up. Hang on. Hi, sir. <laughs> I forget how many mods I have. If my audio's on, I'm sorry if it starts talking i just did i'm telling her to make fritzy a mod oh yeah hi Corey. there fritzy you're now a moderator with a wrench use your power I mean, campbell nerd crew <clears throat> tiffany do i have you as a mod <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'm nobody's mod. <laughs> I know I'm one on yours, but I barely make people mods. I only make like the close, the close couple I know that I've been made a mod because they made everybody mods. And I think I'm a mod for Cletus. That's about it. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> we make everybody mods. I'm scared too because I'm afraid there's going to be that one jerk on there that's just going to bring everything down. So. Then you just unmod them. I'd rather someone else do the work for me. <laughs> so I only mod a couple people. I'm a mod in quite a few channels, but I'm always like on my phone when I'm in chats generally. Yeah. Because this is Tyler's computer that I'm on, and my computer's a piece of crap. Like it doesn't work well at all. So it's easier just to do it on my phone. And I yeah. can't do any modding abilities on my phone really. So. Speaking of phones, that reminds me, if anyone is here that hasn't played Kahoot before, if you're solely on your phone, it's going to be a little bit difficult to do it. So grab someone else's phone as a backup. Preferably not a phone. Yes, if you, if you have to go to like to Walmart and tackle someone in the parking lot to get their phone for 10 minutes to do it, because uh, you're going to need two separate screens. The questions and answers are going to be on here, and then you answer them on your own screen. So... I can just imagine somebody way through the parking lot. I need your phone for a kahoot. <laughs> somebody and like headline next day, man gets tackled for kahoot. Yes, <laughs> we do that. We're not liable. Okay, this is not fun for many of us. <laughs> Y'all gave me the idea, so yes, for doing the kahoot. So you're an accomplice. But I remember people. I don't know why, but some people I went to high school with thought it was a joy just to run across the parking lot at Walmart at night. I don't know why. 
they would like rush out of the store, you know, as a car was coming out for fun. Oh my God. Oh my God. I never really understood it. <clears throat> I was there with my parents one night and they're like, do you know them? I'm like, um, nope. I sure don't. No, I, do nope. I was a dumb kid, but not that dumb. <laughs> Yes, yeah, steal the phone that's on display <laughs> real quick. There you go. It's not stealing if you don't leave the store with it. Do you know that's what I've always heard? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna post the second one because I don't I don't want to post them all back to back because I don't want people to forget what they're for. So the first one was for the Red Hood for Stacking Pops channel. This one is for the unicorn and the Harley. Okay. No, it doesn't look like and this is to Toy Box Treasure Hunters. Oops. I don't need to check spell check this. Yes, you do. It's a link. I don't have to spell check. <laughs> uh, but this is for two Toy Box Treasure Hunters. We're trying to get them to 200, I believe. 200. Yes. I'm not super sure what they're at awesome family channel i love them because they don't just do funko they just do odds and ends they even do like a bunch of retro toys a yeah. lot which i absolutely love retro toys channels uh i also i always get jealous <laughs> when i watch them because i have so many vintage toys like on my makari on the lookout part of my makari but i never find any nobody wants to give them up or well, nobody knows what they have that's yeah. Too. Like I know we have a closet full of vintage toys, but no idea what's in there. I was able to buy three uh, Captain Planet figures off Macari. That's, that's about as vintage as I've ever gotten. As luck. So my I mother get, got rid of all of my stuff. I'd have nothing. I've probably got some vintage Barbies because I used to collect Barbies, but I want to get <laughs> You remember the original Sailor Moon dolls? Like, when yes. we're up, like I want yes. those. Like, I want the new statues because I only got one. But I want <laughs> the original dolls that are just those cheesy, you oh, know. I remember those. Dolls dressed up in Sailor Moon, and I want those. I wanted those so bad, too. I remember when I was in, when I got into Sailor Moon as a kid, there wasn't very many merchandise at all where I live. And one time I saw the Black Dream Hole movie on DVD at like the dollar store or something. And I grabbed it. I was probably like 12. I grabbed it and I just held it to my chest because it was the only thing I've ever found in store <laughs> that was Sailor Moon. So I used my allowance to get that instead of what I was after, actually going after. I think nowadays there's something really like Sailor Moon stuff. It's so expensive. Like mm -hmm. some of the, like the, the wands... And like the chalice, I saw the chalice at freaking books, uh, books and land box lunch, and I was just like, oh, but they wanted like 80 bucks for it. And I was like, Everything at box lunch is expensive though. Yeah. I well, I mean, I, I said that now when I just bought a, a Witcher statue for 80 bucks the other day, but I, you know, I didn't buy a chalice for 80 bucks, but I bought Gerald's in a bathtub for 80 bucks. I mean, priorities. It's priorities. <laughs> yes, that's priorities. Exactly. Chalice, hot man in a bathtub, naked. I don't know. What's <laughs> I feel like that's not worth eighty dollars. Okay, it. the cahoots topic tonight is ladies themed. So mm -hmm. I chose ten random fandoms, ten random <laughs> fandoms, and they uh, each question uh, is about a woman from that series. So there are no year questions. <clears throat> no, there's no date questions. What's Sailor Moon? You have it's no right to question. Time. You have no right to question any of us on our further anime knowledge in the future, Tylock. <laughs> At all. But what that means is Tylock is not going to win this trivia. No. He's, he's trivia master, but he's not going to win this one. They were reasonable, yes, but you're right. I had all of them for a while, but now I'm missing the last few because they just went crazy, and there's just repeats of old characters in a different co costume. Like, instead of their normal ones, it's their super form, which is just, like, a heart on their bow. And that's it. That's stupid. That's what happens when they go from one transfer, like, when they go super and they move on and on. Like, the only person who ever changes costume is Sailor Moon. So, it's like, 
Mm-hmm. And she, the, the other ones were, yeah, like that, like, oh, it's hard, which, which was lame. They should all get, or bigger bows. That was a yeah. big thing, bigger butt bows that they had, <laughs> you know. Chrissy, this is why you weren't invited. Nail paint? I mean, my, I nails are, my nails aren't painted. No, I haven't been able to get to the salon since Christmas. I haven't been to the salon since my wedding. I don't get mine done like regularly. I just started going like this past year, like 2019, early 2019. Uh, I like to keep my nails really short. Like I literally cut them to the quick because I prefer it that way. And every time I go to the salon, they cut me. So I don't go in very often. No, uh, thank you. No, but I like to get that powder dip, and I don't want to do it my on my own. So I it's really not hard. It's really not hard to do it if it just takes some practice. I used to have like super long like stripper nails when I was younger, but you know you can't have long nails in craft. If they get too no. long, like my crochet hook will hit them. So that's <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's why I don't do it because I'm doing t-shirts and stickers. Well. And work in general, I just can't. Well, I can't have I can't have long nails for work either. But yeah, if they get if they get too long, every and time I gets long like enough, bit my nail back like a week ago, so I had to cut it, them off. Every time my nail gets long enough that I can feel the difference between it and my the keyboard keys, I'm like that's when I know it's time to. <laughs> Yes, because that bugs me. It has all my life. So I have cut them ever since I had my own computer, pretty much. I've cut them down that short. Back when she was a stripper. Exactly. Well, now we know where before. these two met. <laughs> he had more money back then. <laughs> yeah, he had more. By the way, I just thought of something today that could help you out, Sheree. So if anyone doesn't know, a miracle happened this week and today uh, on YouTube and Instagram. Tylock has opened his mail, part of it. I think he's opened which 12 is, boxes this week. Yeah, he did. What was it? The Infinity Saga Marvel Collector Core he opened on Instagram a couple hours ago. Good God. That thing came out, what, last year? So no idea. <laughs> I got an idea for you. You can get that pink unicorn tape that I use for my packages at Walmart. Grab a roll of that. And the next time something comes in for like box lunch, put it around it and say it's from me and he'll open it quicker. Because apparently <laughs> he'll open stuff from the Funko family a lot quicker than he will his own mail. Well, that's true. So just, do that. just start putting that duct tape around it and maybe it'll help. By the way, shout out, shout out to Bo for stacking Fox for giving the best burn to Tylock in yesterday's oh video. Oh my god, so hilarious. So hilarious. If you guys haven't watched that video, you have to go check that out. Yes. That came from them. Pretty, that pretty amazing. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the third one in. This is for my Betty Boop uh, custom diamond pop. And I see the mods are sharing the links, links. So thank you, Fritzy. And this one is for Ray's Chaos. I've been following this guy for a while. I really love his personality. I really love his uh, what he's into, what he's covering on his channel. He uploads about once a week, pretty consistently. He's into horror. He's into DC uh, comics. And he dresses steampunk. So I love this man. But he has about 50-something subscribers, so I really want to try and get him closer to 100. So I really want as many of you to just at least go over and check him out uh, if you can, because he is freaking amazing. And we have another one on the stream tonight. Is that Loki or Orion? <laughs> that cat steals the show more often than you do. I mean, it's a beautiful cat. We got a turtle that's living under the house now that'll come up to me when I'm on the back porch. That's I'm funny. Like, I'm like this close to come taking it in. <laughs> well, the boys were out back like two, three years ago and they were like burning trash and stuff. And they had a big old like bonfire going mm -hmm. and kind of like flipped over something in there. And there was this little tiny baby turtle like fixing to burn to death. So he's uh -huh. 
He's now in my kids' room. He's he's Michelangelo. Aw, that's cute. I have never, we had outdoor cats as a kid. I was allergic to cats when I was a kid. I grew out of that allergy and dogs. But uh, I didn't know you could grow out of an allergy until it happened. Uh, but our outdoor cats, I got to name them all, and I named them after the Teletubbies. Oh, my God. I was afraid of puppets as a kid, but not the Teletubbies. I feel like the Teletubbies are way more frightening than the puppets. I know, right? Yes, that is the link for the Betty Boop. I should have put it while I was doing the link, but I forgot. So the first one I put in was for the Red Hood. The second one is for the Harley and the Unicorn. And the third one is for the Betty Boop Diamond Pop. By me. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera no more. My son. <laughs> hey, I don't blame him at all. I was... Uh, a couple months ago, I was in here filming, and my little cousin, I was supposed to babysit her that day, and she came in. I wasn't live or anything. I was just filming, and she came in, and she saw the camera going, and she darted out of this room fast. And this kid has so much freaking personality. I thought she would, like, mug for the camera, and I have to drag her out. Nope. <laughs> she, <laughs> no part of that. she busted out. I was very thankful for that, actually. So, no COPPA videos for you? This, the kid's a headache. I'm just going to put it that way. So oh, I was very, I was, so now I know if I ever want her to like go away and do her own thing, just turn the camera on. <laughs> and I'm going well, to. She ran because she didn't want any evidence. Yes. So, so anyway, so before we start the Kahoot, is there anything going on? I know you guys have the mamas on. Monday, right, Carrie? Okay. That's it. Geeky Mama Bear and Mama J. Yes. So both of them do Tuesday live streams together. They flip flop on each other's channels. I've been on there once, uh, and they have awesome live streams. So I'm sure putting the two teams together of Homespun Geek, Fritzy, and the two mamas is just going to be a very intriguing night. Okay. Probably not as intriguing as last week's Kahoot but with its own flair. I had to take an Advil after that coot. <laughs> or not the coot, but the live stream. I had such, I know what you meant. I had such a headache after that. They were hilarious. That was, that was so fun. With the pirate one? Yeah. The Dead Skeleton Show and Captain Pops. It was mainly Tylock's accent. I was like, when is he going to drop this freaking voice already? Because I'm getting a headache. Every time he opened his mouth, my <laughs> like it throbbed a little bit. Um, yes, I didn't think he was going to do it the whole time, but he committed. Except when he was laughing. He was reading some of our posts and then he would stop. It's so hard to, to pirate accent where you're laughing, I'd imagine. So, Tiffany, I know you said you had something you wanted to talk about a little bit. Your shirts. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I did. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's got the model behind her. Like, what, what am I talking about? Got some um, new merch. Okay. Bucky is wearing my shirt. I have uh, shirts up on Etsy, which I should have probably had a link. I am such a dub. Um, but everybody was asking for shirts. I kept getting messages about shirts or, um, you know, hey, Admiral, when are you going to make a shirt? And I make these myself. So I finally did it and put shirts together. Um, and I have stickers as well, but there's a link for shirts. And I made this shirt tonight, which might be a limited edition for a later release. <laughs> it's super pretty. Your logo is one of the best out of everyone for sure. I agree. It's, it's so freaking gorgeous. And doing good comments this year. Hey. Glam is here for a second. Yeah. Yes. There's gonna be a question in the Kahoot Glamour that you're gonna get for sure, I know. Because you're my fellow Twi Heart person. So <laughs> I know there's going to be certain people to get certain questions and they're just going to bomb the rest of it. <laughs> You'll get two out of ten like I did. Yes. 
<laughs> and one of the two is just going to be a guess, like the other one. That's exactly it. Ava's here. Hi. I'm trying to figure out how to put Tiffany by herself so they can see the shirt a little bit better. I think I figured it out. So, yay, I got it. Oh, oh, oh it's just me. Oh, I wasn't even ready, Caitlin. Get over here. Yes. yes, you can see the model sporting the shirt. I like that you did the sleeves, too. Yeah, it's very cool. I like it. It had the chase okay. on one side and the flag on another. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I am learning how to do this so well now. And then by the time I'm ready for my next live stream, which for me is usually about four or five months, I'll forget all of it. Well, so, you need to do a weekly live stream. I don't know if I can commit to weekly. I can definitely commit to monthly if I wanted to. Well, then you should do a monthly live stream. Yeah, I probably will. I said that last time, though, and it was three months ago. So, Well, I said I was going to do a ladies' live stream and haven't done it yet. So, I know. It was up to me to do it because all three of us had talked about it. Yes. At different times throughout the last two years. Well, and no one has done it yet. <laughs> well, I know we talked about it with doing it with uh, Samantha a while back. I mean, it yes. never, never happened. I was planning on just like a really small live stream, like just, you know, a solo live stream and just waiting till a thousand to do a bigger one. But I'm like, if I don't do it, no one's going to. So well, I'm going to do like a crafty live stream, but I don't want to yeah. drop glitter in here because then it's going to be all over this room. And I don't I, want a video. Crochet. Yeah. Well, I don't want, I wouldn't want people just looking at my hands the entire time. I mean, it's okay if it's in a video where you can edit it a little bit, but with a live stream, I don't want, because when people are looking at your hands, they're probably looking at your boobs too. <laughs> That that doesn't bother me. So, and that's the one thing I'm doing constantly when I'm editing my custom videos is cropping out my boobs. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I feel like this is like a headlamp camera to like yeah. do all my stuff. I don't know. It's just I'll figure it out one day. It's just not. Tiffany's got a good setup, and she and I are going to try our best to figure out a way to make either a video or a stream or something where we're glittering pops together. We still have to get together and figure that out. Yeah. But we are determined to finally do that eventually. <laughs> eventually. I yeah. came up with the idea. We'll probably do it next year. <laughs> I'll look out the queens and then get back I to me. get more glitter, because when I was doing the crypto, I realized I am like, have like a couple specks of white glitter left. So I desperately need to get <laughs> back to Hobby Lobby and get more freaking glitter. Michael's, oh my God, I almost went ham on glitter yesterday. I went to Michael's and they did this whole new glitter section. And I, I should have taken a picture of it, but I like walked down the aisle. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. It's just like, why am I obsessed with glitter and glittering things? It's weird. It, it is weird. It's a weird new obsession, but God, do I love glitter now. It's, it's easy. easy. It's, a, it's easy. Oh, and I, I just got Posca paint pens. Oh, Lord. Oh yes, I love those things. I love the Posca paint pens. Haven't even haven't even broken them out yet, but you know, it's gonna happen. It's kind yeah. of I've been doing like rock art canvases for a long time, so yeah. I had like a whole bunch of paint pens. That was my thing before pops were, but yeah, I've been done that in a long time. Yeah, I'm just now getting back into resin because I was just not doing it for so long because I spilt it on me and got a rash TMI, but. I did not want to do it again for so freaking long. Now I'm finally doing it. So <clears throat> I will be posting some of the regular magnets on Etsy. I'll probably post them on Instagram first if case people want them because I can actually sell them cheaper through, you know, ship them myself than I can yeah. through Etsy. So I'll put them on Etsy first in case any of you guys want to uh, claim them before they go on Etsy. Dibs. Who's Nerdette? I haven't seen that. Hot Topic? Oh, that one. Okay. I was like, I was thinking YouTube. Oh, okay. I don't think, has she only been doing, she, she's been doing Periscope more than YouTube now, hasn't she, since the pandemic started? I don't know. I didn't see her for a long time. I see clips of other people posting stuff about her, but I don't see anything on Hot Topics YouTube anymore. I don't keep up with that. That's a pilot question. 
Tylock, do you know if Hot Topic is still posting pic videos of HD Nerdette? <clears throat> and if one of the links isn't working, is it just Fritzy's or is it my link too? It's probably just Fritzy's. I'll post them all uh, a few minutes before we do the uh, random comment picker, just in case. But hopefully it's just Fritzy being Fritzy. He's a bad mod. He doesn't earn, he's not earning that much. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Comic unboxings. I need to get back to doing Let's Talk Comics. Bad. Like, I really need to get back into doing it. I was bound and determined to do it at the start of the year. Haven't done one since 2019. So. Spoiler alert. I was wanting to do one, like, a collaboration with someone. Because the one I wanted to do was a series, but I'm like, I was too shy to ask anyone. That's oh, my God, you have no idea. He's all about the comic books. So Stack and Pop made this comment, and I, I want to—I have to say this before I get that, before I freak out. Hot Topic restocked some of their older exclusives, like when the when Marvel was in the hundreds with box numbers, and people are trying to flip them for outrageous prices, claiming that they're still rare. So if you're listening to me, Funko has restocked the the Thomas Wayne Batman, the Spider Man. Don't freaking fall for the the they're rare 25 35 dollar pops i've been seeing on facebook no fall for it they reached out that's true worry. don't do it <sighs> for you I got, here for you i got the original superman and i bought it off of funko's website for like what 12 bucks is what there are on there if they're not a con exclusive or 15 or something something like and that the app says it's worth 55 bucks i'm like Bull crap. <laughs> it's not worth 50 freaking bucks at all. There are so many pops that are just, I mean, I understand them restocking older pops than making newer ones with the way the world is right now. I understand it, but decrease the value of them. <laughs> yeah. It's not well, worth it anymore. They're, they're announcing that the wave two of the alien remix pops are hit, but I haven't even seen, what, seen wave one out like anywhere. I just saw wave one. Oh my god, almost I oh, 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 I haven't oh. seen any of them. Because I really want Zerg and I really want Buzz and a, and I'd like a little Woody, not like a gigant okay, that sounded really terrible. Pop. It's fun, it's fun. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> so yeah. But I haven't seen them. And they're announcing wave two, and I'm like, what happened to wave one? Where did they go? Yeah, I'm still wanting to get I just want the dot from Bugs Life. That's all that's the only one I want. But my hot topic is still close, too, because there was a tornado. Yeah. But I have a theory, though. Where the mall was originally going to be built, the, the mall was built when I was in elementary school. But the where, where it was originally built is, like, right across from where I live now. But they couldn't build it there because they found a dead body. But they started re, like, clearing it out now. Like they're taking all the trees down and leveling it out. I'm wondering if they're using the tornado as an excuse to rebuild it where they were originally were. Because this is the outskirts of town. So they want to expand the town further out to make it bigger. Because they're yeah. doing that on the other side of town. I think they want to do it on this side of town too. So it might be a while before I get back to it in a hot topic again. Oh, I mean, that would be smart for a city to do. It's like, well, you know, the tornado ripped the ball out. So we were going to play it over there. So I just, we're just going to move there. everything. I don't know what happened to the open case, because as far as I know, it's still unsolved, but whatever. They do know the dude was murdered, though. Just fun tidbit. So, remind me of my life. No big deal. No, no big deal. That <laughs> happens all the time. You know, some people, how I grew up in a house where a whole family was murdered, it just comes back full circle to that topic for me. So It's a very interesting topic. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I saw that too. I bet it's going to be another pattern one. I bet, because all the pattern ones, like the Batman ones, are going to Target. I'm thinking they're going to make a pattern, like an arts pattern. What, what do they even call it? Art series? Art series? Art it's series? like a wrap. It's like a vinyl wrap that they're putting on the pops. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> but I bet that's going to be. 
I mean, it's cooler than the chrome pops, but I'm I'm still not a giant fan of like just having the same pop and we're just gonna throw something on it. Like I want the orange one because I remember it screams, you know, Adam West theme song. Yeah, we got the orange one. And then there was another one that I like too, but I, just, I don't know. I like the Futura Star Wars pops. I hate them all. They're just scribbles. Why are we paying more for them? Yeah, I don't know. But I'm in the minority here. I know everybody loves the Futura pops. I mean, I, I when, when I found out about the Batman ones, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna buy Batman no matter what. I mean, I got the I got the big Batman because yeah. it's Batman. Batman's like my. Um. So it's just like when they when I saw those four get released, I kind of may have thrown my phone across the room and been upset and my friend here she was like what's wrong just like yeah i'm just tired of this i'm gonna buy them but can we get something else yeah same here <laughs> okay, i'm gonna need you to send me back my custom pops i sent you <laughs> so send I, I wanted the futuro pop of c3po just because i want all the c3po's I mean, I understand. I think I think those are honestly a little bit better than the Batman ones because it's more. It's not just to the me; those seem more artistic, almost. Um, but I like the Jack Skellington ones. But we got other Jack Skellington ones a few years ago that were like a wrap. Like I, I got the Zero one. Yeah, <laughs> we got Zero one. So I don't know if they're just like the skeleton head. That one was cool though. I liked that one. Yeah. Elaine, there are bu Buffy pops, but they're older now and they're more expensive. Yes, <laughs> they are expensive. I mean, I just have, I have Buffy and then I think I have the whole set of the newer wave that came out a couple years ago. But out of the older ones, I just have Buffy. I remember in the, there are so many pops that people want nowadays that I was like, huh, that's cool. And I never bought because I've just I've been collecting since the beginning, so there's just there's so many pops where I'm like, oh yeah, I could have bought that. Like, but I didn't because why? Like it's Ventura. We started a long time ago, but we were only buying like one or two a year. <laughs> uh, it wasn't until like two years ago we really got crazy. So th there was a lot we could have gotten had we been really collecting. But well, I remember in high school. In 2010 was when Pops first started. I was in sophomore year of high school. And I asked my friend, I saw the uh, Batman Pop at Hot Topic. I'm like, can you get me this for your birthday? Because she was asking. And she didn't. So I blame her for not starting me on this addiction sooner <laughs> so that I could get rarer Pops sooner. Because I didn't start collecting hardcore until like 2015, 2016. So I blame, I blame Tanya. I will always blame Tanya for that. Blame Tanya. I would have collecting friends come over when they find out about my collection. Like uh, my friend Tracy, she came over and she wants to collect Game of Thrones. And then she saw my Game of Thrones collection and was like, nope. And then she brought her friend over and she was like, just look at the Game of Thrones collection. And she's like, nope. <laughs> like that's one of those ones where, I mean, I'm full well, now. It's not worth anything anymore. Thank you. Popular culture. But, well, maybe when like the new, his new spinoff series drops, it'll be really good. Go yeah. back. So, if you want them, now's the time to buy. They're all cheap. Yeah. Now is the time to buy. That's it. Jaylee, I would be kicking myself if I seen that in store and didn't get it. Because that's one that's on my want list. I don't have, I need the Hawkman from Legends of Tomorrow because it's stupid that they made that character, but now I want it just to complete the set. And I want the original one. Darn completionist. But, yes. There's not that many sets I want to complete, but that when you have just one pop missing from a set, you're like, just buy it. Yeah, you're like I want it. But the guy was in he he was more like a background character than anything else. But of course they had to make a pop of him. <clears throat> but whatever. Thank you, Kenneth. I know some people are being quiet. It's fine. It's all good. <laughs> They can just watch. Uh, not the same Tanya. I'm not that old. But not quite that old. Yeah, no, you're still a baby. Wait, okay, one of the Kahoot questions is about Power Rangers. Yeah. And it's okay. about one of the newer series of Power Rangers because I like all Power Rangers, period. And 
Cherie's like, well, yeah, I guess you were little and never saw the original one. I was like, I have seen the original <laughs> Power Rangers. Thank you. I, I didn't see it. I said you didn't grow up with it. I did grow up with it. I just watched it uh, later on. I got that was the first one of the first DVDs I ever bought for myself was the My Morphin Power Ranger movie. See, my Power Rangers was on VHS. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say this when you said that you got the 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 Sailor Moon DVD for a dollar. I was like, I remember going to Blockbuster, renting it, putting it in my VHS player, and then copying it. <laughs> you couldn't do that with everything, though. Yes. <laughs> I remember the v I remember Blockbusters. I don't think I've ever been in one, but I remember them being in my town. Oh my um, god. My mother is not into movies unless they're Hallmark. So I was not, did not grow up with movies. I said on, what was it? When we were on Brandy's live stream, she wants to drag me to California so she can go to the Hallmark movie convention. Now, no, that was a thing. It was, it was going to be a thing this year. It was going to be their first one, but it got canceled. So now it's next year. Oh, so 2020 did do something good. <laughs> Yes, it canceled that. But apparently some of the like hardcore actors in uh Hallmark are in like superhero movies and Power Rangers too. Like she like one's apparently filming now with the pink Time Force Ranger in it. And Chris Hensworth was in a couple of them. So I was like, okay, I might have fun at this convention. Maybe. <laughs> Talk to many people, but I'll be getting nerdy stuff signed while they're getting their weird old people stuff sign so i mean it could be worse <laughs> movies hit you right in the field sometimes yeah sometimes it's cheesy like okay but then well, like the christmas the ones always get me i know the plot of everyone when they're like 15 minutes in so yeah yeah I mean, just the title gives it away most of the time there's a new one on netflix like like Lost Husband or something like that. It's trending number one with uh, J Jeff du Jason Dumont or whatever. The, the, <laughs> it's number one on Netflix. It's a love story. And I thought I had it figured out and they got me in the end. I was like, oh, this is what it is. And I was like, oh, shit, all right. Because <laughs> I was like, typical. <laughs> yes, they continued it, but he keeps coming back. They Tommy keeps coming back. Mm -hmm. I stopped watching after. Well, I, I watched with um, um, Power Rangers in Space because of um, what's his name? Who's the Red Ranger? Andros. Andros. Hot guy. Yes. Um, stay for him. And then I stopped. And then when Tommy came back for um, Dino Thunder, which was way later, and mm -hmm. I was an adult, I was like, yes. <laughs> I watched all those. I watched up until Samurai, then I didn't like Samurai, I didn't like uh, Mega, whatever it was, Mega Force. And I watched a couple more, and then I haven't watched any of the newer stuff since Hasbro took over. So, and now they're changing, they're taking it back to Mighty Morphin, apparently, for the main set, I think is what I read. Like, instead of using the Super Sentai stuff from Japan now, they're just going to make it all American made. And just keep it to the Mighty Morphin uh, universe. If I, I think that's what it said. That's what they're gonna do. So we're that, that, watching the very first Mighty Morphin. Yeah. I think we're like season two or three now. Or yeah. however many episodes that is. Yeah, it's so freaking cheesy. Like I love it because I grew up with it, but it's it's not very good. Yeah, and they're saying that. Yeah. Okay, I'm redoing the link for Red Hood. If you guys can't find it, it's the first video that you see on Stag and Pop's channel if it still doesn't work. But I think it came over, it worked because I saw Stag and after we put this this one in. So I think some people, it's worked for some people at least. Mm, let's see. So that's the one for the Red Hood. So. I clicked on it. So, but yeah, they bring Tommy back for all the important stuff and then just throw him in a random series here and there because his favorite. Like, the Green Ranger now? 
they gave him in the 25th anniversary episode, they gave him a master morpher so he can go in between all the rangers that he's ever been now. He can go from the White Ranger to the Black Ranger to the Red Ranger to the Green Ranger. Why would you need to be different colors? He should just be the first one he ever was. Just Green Ranger, fine. <laughs> I agree with that. Just let him be you, have to, you have to follow the storyline, Cherie, to get it. Why? Why? Can't you just tell me? Just give me the cliff notes. They just kept having to change the plot around to keep it more interesting. After they ran out of the footage for the Mighty Morphin. I don't know what the Super Sentai equivalent of it is. I don't keep up with Super Sentai. I just keep up with Power Rangers. So they changed it to Zeo after they ran out of that footage because that's what Super Sentai did. So they changed his outfit for that. And then they changed it for Turbo for the same reason. And then they brought him back for Dino Thunder because his face makes money. Well, I get that, but like, why do we have a thing where we can just cycle through whoever we want to be? That's weird. Stack, and I'm going to make you a mod real quick, so maybe you can post the link to your latest video and see if it works. Because apparently ours isn't. For some reason, it worked for Fritzy and no one else. So Fritzy's going to win the Red Hood, apparently. <laughs> right. uh, but you try it yourself, Stack, and see if it works. Hopefully it will. If not, again, everyone can go to the Stag and Pop channel uh, and subscribe if you are there, please, and hashtag it there. So, yeah, Fritzy sabotaged the link. I knew it. So you give him a win, and this is what happened. It was all him. <clears throat> this is why I'm going to take your place as the co-host one day. Because <laughs> you keep sabotaging everyone's thing. Okay, we've been on here almost an hour. Does anyone want to play the Kahoot, or should we wait for... Yes, there was a unicorn. I think Billy's in the in the Mighty Morphin, his, when they did the Thunder Zord, it was a unicorn, the Blue Ranger. That's the only one. Because they went from dinosaur dinosaurs to, like, fantasy creatures. And his was the unicorn. Well, that's amazing. If I'm remembering correctly, I know he had that one and he had, and Jason had the dragon. I can't remember what all the others had, though. We're talking about the movie? No, I'm talking about in the series. They went from Mighty Morphin and then they had the, like, Thunder Megazord with the Thunder ones. Oh. Chris was claiming innocent. But now in the movie, they went to the ninja. That's when they had just normal animals. So he went from Triceratops, Unicorn, Wolf, I think. Yes. Yes. And then Frog. There was, there was a Frog. There was a Crane. A Falcon. Yeah. yeah. Bear. Bear. Yeah. I forgot all about those, to be honest with you. Man, Real we... or into Unicorns, Fritzly? Ask Tylock. <laughs> you know, we went and like Power Rangers live on stage when I was younger, uh -huh. and they had all the putties like in the in the stands, like you know, messing with people. And my, my baby cousin was was when he punched one. I thought that was <laughs> I would have. I would. I would do it now just for fun. It was like fun. You come up to me with one of those costumes. I'm going I won't like try to hurt him, but I would play <laughs> punch him just for the hell of it. I know he punched him for real. Well, I'm sure it didn't hurt. He was only like eight or something, but yeah. he played it off for real. He like fell over. I would give like a camera to a friend. I'm like, well, get ready to take the picture. <laughs> That's what I would do. But <clears throat> but yes, real dudes are into unicorns. I feel like everybody is into unicorns. Yes. A lot of people say he's the only ranger. Um, I halfway agree with him. He's one of the best rangers for sure. And apparently he didn't do any color. I stayed 10 hours to get his autograph, so. Because <laughs> his plane was freaking late. And I, I got out that day. I got in line. I was one of the first in line for the con that day. It started at 10. I was in line at 7. And I got the autograph at like 1030 that night. So that's how long I was really saying for it. He stays for the final plan, too. He won't leave. He won't stop until everybody's gotten. Yeah, because I remember, I remember, because it, it was so late. And when I got to him, he asked the guy running or, you know, getting us all in and out of there. 
like, are there still people out there? And I was, <laughs> and I was just like, uh, yeah, <laughs> there are. There's a lot of people still out there because he was, he wasn't even halfway done by the time I was there. I mean, I felt sorry for him. I know he was exhausted. But someone, someone tried to kill him at the convention. I tried to go. Yeah, I got his signature, but still, like that was a—he was exhausted, and he was surrounded by Phoenix police officers too. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "The things we do, yeah." It. Multi-year binding contract. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready. Sign any of that? <laughs> All the spring went more forest. They're pretty, aren't they? I love those. They're so freaking cute. I'm ready for the fall ones to become public now. You know, I don't own any of those. Like, I want them pretty badly, but I've never bought any of them. The falls are the only ones I'm missing because they still kept it uh, exclusive to the HQ right now. So I'm hoping that when fall comes out, it'll be like the spring and they'll release them. So I make it public for everyone. <clears throat> I just have to one of when I was in I keep trying to hide these ones when I was in college the uh, Red Ranger got the Red uh, Wild Force Ranger got in jail for murdering someone and it just about made me heartbroken because he was like my childhood hero so I don't like him anymore but I still like his ranger self if that makes any sense I played the two yes <laughs> has the social security number so that's how it's going to work around here we're just going to exchange our social security numbers to get everyone's info so we'll know everything on each other so Not we're all going to do that. Mm -hmm. sorry i like my rank in my military in my <laughs> yeah. you go first and then i'll <laughs> give you mine <laughs> Someone asked me for mine not too long ago, like a family member. I was like, hell no. <clears throat> I'm not that that happen. Can you give me your bank account information? Because I need your bank account information to sign up for this bank. Like, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Nobody no. needs that. Mine, apparently, they needed it for an insurance policy. I'm like, why would you need an insurance policy? It was like a couple years ago. Like, if I was a minor and my parents needed it, maybe I would fall for it, but... <laughs> No. Yes, he was the only one that stayed blue. But the unicorn was blue too. <laughs> it was a thing. Okay, we keep getting sidetracked. Let's do the cahoot. <laughs> All right. All right. So, we can talk about more Power Rangers afterwards. So again, if anyone came in late, it is pretty much a ladies-themed cahoot. It's got 10 fandoms in it. Uh, if you know the fandoms, you'll know the que the answer to the question. If you don't, you're going to be like, Sheree. Um, so, but if you get on the tier, if you get on the podium or whatever they call it. Podium. First, second, or third podium. Then you will win something. The first, uh, prize, first place winner will get to pick first out of the magnets, Tiffany stickers, and the cheetah pop. And the second place winner gets the next one. And then third place gets what's left. Now the baby boop link ain't working. Okay, this sucks. <clears throat> okay, we might have to do something else if these links for some reason aren't working. Can you put it in the put it in the private chat in Streamyard, and I'll see if I can post it. Okay, it's for Ray's Chaos's video, and the hashtag is hashtag Unicorn Eight Hundred. It's the same for all of it. So hopefully, I haven't even refreshed any of this to see. Let me refresh. No one's been saying anything about toys, toy box treasure hunter. So let me check. And we're still getting sidetracked, but we're going to check this first. Okay. okay. Toy box treasure hunters has pretty much every comment on there is, has the hashtag on it. And yes, and I accidentally clicked out of it. So give me a minute to get that back. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that when I tried. It's all good. Mine doesn't link. When I, when I post stuff, it doesn't link it. So you have to copy and paste it. So weird. I know. Let me try linking you directly to their channel. Because I'm just using the first video of the channel. 
If we don't get this figured out soon, guys, we'll go ahead and play the coot and then come after, come back to this afterwards and figure it out. We'll give the giveaways, give everything given away by the end of the night, some way or another. Um, maybe it'll all go to Fritzy, but we'll be giving it away one way or another. Because this is weird. Well, Fritzy's works for the Betty Boop. So just click I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of people commenting on Race Chaos's video. So that's worked for some people. And it's stacking. I'm seeing a few, but not as many. Okay, yeah, wait. I'm going down now. Now I can see them. <clears throat> so for some reason, it's working on a lot of others, but not for, for some people, I guess. It's weird. Let's see. Well, that's the same. Word. It worked for everyone. So I didn't check everyone, Jay Lee. I was just looking to see how many hashtags were in there. So, although I will say, guys, I probably should have said this in the beginning. If anyone's new to this, how YouTube is set up, if you put multiple comments with the same hashtag, YouTube will block them <laughs> because they'll say he has spam. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> That's why I lost when James Dieter was the first one to post uh, about the giveaway. When I reach 800, I was going to do the ladies night live stream. And as soon as he posted that, I jumped to 810. And I looked back the couple hours later, I was back at 799. And so I'm pretty sure YouTube saw all that and was like, nope, those were bots. And just yeah. cut them all out. So... Thank you to James and Tyler for getting me past there, finally. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Is everyone ready for the coot now? <laughs> and if everyone's still having problems, we'll come back to it and try to figure it out. Thank you, Candy Man. You're just in time for... Kahoot! Kahoot, and so is Alexander Perez. I got the pop in, Alexander. It's beautiful, and the video should be out... This week or next. So, oh, but that also reminds me. Uh, I didn't do a video today. I usually post on Saturday, but since we're doing this tonight, I'm going to post a video tomorrow. So, I don't know which video it's going to be, but one's going to be up there. So, okay, let's get the hoot going now. If I can figure out how to do it again. I did. We did it yesterday. <laughs> Hopefully I can remember it all. You can remember it. Hi, South Cajun. <laughs> there we go. I got it. No, I just had to share the screen. There's that music. Music. I'm going to. Hang on. Take your horses. I know. The music annoys me too now. Okay, can you see it? Yep. And try to make it a nickname that I'll know who the crap y'all are when you go into it. That is important. Yes. Hi, DJ Patrick. There we go. The only one banned from it is Cherie. Everyone else can play. I'm not going to play it. <laughs> I would oh, lose anyway. If you did, I would just have to cancel you out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to like, I would have to like give it to Ty Lock or something. No, I'm not going to win for him. Or no, I give it to Daniel because y'all keep stealing his crap. Please, so. that child has enough crap on his own. <laughs> I just had to buy two of them. I'm going to lock it after a minute, guys. I don't think we'll have any trouble. But I know some people got, uh, was hacking Hans Buns. Uh, yeah, that happened. That's us. Awesome. So. We're, we're going to try to avoid that tonight. But we're going to leave it open for a little bit longer. And by the way, I can't see the chat. So if y'all are saying anything, say it to Cherie or Tiffany. I have the chat. I'll keep your eyes on yours. <laughs> I, need, I guess I need to put it up on my phone. That's how I do it. Second I screen. You guys haven't played this before.
Oh, we got a stack and six plan. <laughs> awesome. It's a family affair. That's it. I was on my personal account, so I had to sign in with my There we go. <clears throat> Jay Lee, you have no idea how many times I've had to change my name because it doesn't fit. Like, I go in there as soon as y'all post the pin to it, but it takes me like a minute to do it because I can't. I keep trying to think of like a funny name to do and it won't go. So that's why I'm going to kind of stick to Never Seen It Unicorn because I figure that applies to most of it. It feels like it does. <laughs> And you keep saying I do well in those coots. I do well, but I don't win. Well, you were Powerpuff Girls. Well, I know Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> I'm talking about the stuff I haven't seen. Uh, Wait, I know Powerpuff it, Girls, Flash, and Lion King, apparently. Which one did I win? Was it Harry Potter? No, it was Beauty and the Beast, because I was going to win it that night if you weren't there. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast is my jam. You yes. Know, that's my fault. <laughs> I still haven't watched the original cartoon Beauty and the Beast, so you deserve to win it. You make my heart hurt. I'm sorry. You make my heart hurt. I haven't seen Dumbo. I haven't seen Mulan. I haven't seen Tangled. I love Tangled. Have you not seen Tangled? I don't How know. Do I have seen uh, the Frog, Moana. Oh my god! Uh, it's on you. <laughs> I know you watch Nerdy Crafter. Like, come on, this yes. on the cow. I know, I know Mushu. Uh, I, I've seen Mulan too. I haven't seen Mulan. It's weird. Um, what? I've I seen Mulan too, but not the original. <laughs> trying to think of any of the other older ones that I haven't seen yet. Uh, I've seen most of them, just not all of them. I'm no, so excited for the movie to come out. I don't care that I have to pay $30 to watch it. No, I'm not paying $30 for the live action Mulan when it hits Disney Plus. That's not going to happen. They, they said that, so, like, it, they said that you can buy it, but then you can watch it no yeah. matter what. Like, it's like buying a movie. That's the, the amount you would pay for the I movie. I pay $30 for a movie. A DVD? A I'm getting more subscribers, yay. I Emperor's New Groove. Yes, I've seen Emperor's New Groove. Thank God. Uh, right? That one's amazing. Yes. It's not my favorite, but I liked it. I don't I don't like Cusco at all. I like Yzma. I was rooting for Yzma more than I was for Cusco oh, in that movie. She's amazing. Uh, I think that's about it for all like the main series movies that I haven't seen. I could be totally wrong. Oh, uh, what's it? What's her name? Mary Poppins. I've never seen Mary Poppins. You've never seen Mary Poppins? No. That's an older one. The like the original Mary Poppins. That's like an older, older one. Like. Yeah. My kid I loves Mary Poppins. I've never seen the movie. Okay, we're gonna lock it down in just a few more seconds here. So if anyone is new and just wants to get in. Speak now. Yes. Yeah, I know the song for Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious because I was on a Disney song kick for years. Um, I was listening to songs of movies that I've never seen. So. Well, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks is a classic. That one's pretty good. I watched that one the other night. What is it? It's it's a story about oh, it, it takes place, I believe, World War. One or World War Two? I think it's World War One, and these kids get um, so in, during the war, kids were pushed out of the biggest areas and into like foster care by other people, and um, these three kids end up in the care of someone who's learning to be a witch, and um, that's pretty much sort of the concept of it. Is they're learning, she's learning to be a witch, and they use a bed to travel from place to place. It's really. It's really unique and fun, and I liked it. So it's on Disney Plus. It's an older movie, so if you can get through older style movies, you're fine. But it, it holds up to what it is. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's pretty good. Cool. It's not my favorite, but it's a, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna lock it down now and start playing. Good so, luck, everybody. So.
Yeah, good luck for sure. Okay. You're going to need it. <laughs> X-Men anime series in the pilot episode, who becomes the newest student at the school? Morph, Jubilee, Jean Grey, or Captain Marv and Tylock, I promise that's the only question that makes fun of you. <laughs> I was going to do more, but I decided to be somewhat nice. So, that's the only one. No fun at all. Hi, Zelda boy. And just so you know, I actually listened to Cherie when she told me that I had to fix something in my cahoots, unlike you. So. Well, you're smarter than Tylock is, so. I did it, like, as soon as we got off yesterday. Okay, so the correct answer is Jubilee or Jubilation Lee. Jubilation, yeah, Jubilation Lee is her name. Full name. I'm still waiting for a pop of her. It'll we come. We, I ordered the fig pin of her because we don't have a pop. So I'm like, that's going to be my first fig pin. So, house spin. <laughs> I just now realized that. <laughs> Oh, I wonder who that is. Could it be Jasmine? Okay. Next. Xena Warrior Princess. How many Xena lookalikes were there throughout the series? One, two, three, or four. Oh, you picked some. Okay. Even I'm getting stopped because I'm like, I knew the first two. After that, it was downhill for me. Yeah. I've watched Xena in forever. I love Xena. I haven't seen it in a while, but I absolutely love it. There's a few episodes I'll just go back and watch to watching it all, you know? I watch the musical episode just randomly all the time. Yeah. Correct answer is three. So there was Princess Diana, there was Meg the Tramp, and then there was uh, Leia the uh, Virgin something, Priestess or something, I think. I don't know. And it was all like in the first couple of seasons and then they stopped using them and I missed them a lot. But only six people got that one right. Kayla is taking the lead here. Jaylee, I said Jaylee is going to be the one to watch out for here. Admiral Funko and then Jasmine and <laughs> Zelda Boy. That's where I'm going up. Okay, this is where Cherie started losing it. So Twilight Saga, which member of the Denali Coven told the Volturi about Renezme? Tanya, Irina, Kate, or Carmen? I is my favorite of the of Cohen family. I thought you liked Twilight. You should have gotten this one. And I said I should have gotten this one. I just couldn't. <laughs> it's been a while since I've read the books or seen the show, the movie. It was in both the book and the movie. I know, but. You know. So, yes, the correct answer is Irina. The other two, the Tanya and Kate, are her sisters. Carmen is their mom like figure of that coven. But Irina was the one who snitched on them. Bailey got it right. <laughs> and Tats is now bringing up the rear. See, Homespin didn't know it either. <laughs> okay, Sailor Moon, who is responsible for turning Kibinu Sarini into Black or Wicked Lady? depending on whether you got the English or the Japanese. Queen Barrel, Mistress Nine, Queen of Helenia, or Wise Man? The Black Moon Saga was my favorite. I Me love too. it. I, just, I want pops. I had such a crush on Cassie. <laughs> I don't know why, but I had such a crush on her. I freaking love Diamond. I think, that's what, I think that was one of my first... Like, I realized that I love villains more than I love heroes. I know, right? I loved it. But yes, Wise Man was the one. The other three are villains at some point in the series. But let's see who all got that one correct. Of course, Admiral got it right on the first track. <laughs> By the way, I don't count for the giveaways. So I just want to see my knowledge base. <laughs> Jay Lee is there. Candy Man Rips, Stack and Pops, and Nerd Crew bringing up fifth place this time. Justice League Unlimited. Cersei turned Wonder Woman into what type of animal? Pig, horse, lamb, or cow? No idea. I didn't either. <laughs> there's something going on. There's there's no I knew there's going to be Wonder Woman stuff in here because Caitlin's the Wonder Woman, like. I even mentioned it in my videos. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Caitlin knows. Because <laughs> I don't know. I like how it's a Just League Unlimited question. I just realized I used one from the Just League Animated instead. But 
So she did get turned into Wonder Pig in that one. She still had her bracelets on, and there is an action figure of her in the same pack with Batman as the pig. And it I want sounds it. adorable. I want yeah. it in my collection. I want all the Just Leaf figures in my collection, but that one's high on my want list. So I knew yeah. Jaylee would not get that one. <laughs> Jaylee, Admiral Funko, Kayla, Sassy Cajun, and Pop Harbor. Jasmine dropped off the list. So, My Little Pony, which of the main six ponies possess the element of honesty? Twilight Sparkle, Rarity, Fluttershy, or Applejack? People were slow to the draw on this one. There's not really that many My Little Pony fans. I'm oh. a My Little Pony fan of the original My Little Ponies. This new I My Little Pony I've never seen. I hated the original ponies. My first experience was with bronies when I wa I had some sailors on watch and they were drawing pictures of ponies in positions. In compromising positions? Yeah, and I was just like, this is not something we should be doing at work, shipmates. And then yeah, like, what the pony is? And I'm like, <laughs> so Applejack had honesty, Twilight Sparkle has magic, Rarity had the element of generosity, and Fluttershy had kindness. But Applejack had honesty, and five people got it right. And I that Rarity would be honesty because people being honest. That's what I said, like word for word. <laughs> like, well, if you get the personality of the character then you would know that it wouldn't be honest no, no. rarity yeah. could be it see there's two people that said the same thing well so is generosity sometimes can be a rarity i think people can be more generous than honest the characters i didn't make the characters i just made the quiz i know I I my favorite to make the characters what the hell Right. Right. We got Jay Lee, we got Admiral Funko, Cassie, Sassy Cajun, Kayla, and Pop Harbor. Okay, Power Rangers. Who was the Rangers mentor in RPM? Dr. J, Dr. K, Dr. L, or Dr. M? This is another slow one. There we go. I'm excited for the Sailor Moon one. I was like, I got this. <laughs> That's a newer one. I'm going to go downhill from there. Yeah, and I have gotten one right since, but I'm still number two. Which means you can fit them right. This is one of my favorite series of Power Rangers, despite it being a newer one. So most people got that one right. Dr. K is one of the best characters in all of Power Rangers, in my opinion. Um, if it wasn't for the nostalgia that Wild Force brings to me, RPM would be my favorite. There are some characters that if you watch it for the first time, they're going to annoy the holy crap out of you. Okay. But Straight Line Over Wall is just amazing. It's one of the best that they've ever done. So I highly recommend this one, but I love Dr. K. So let's see. Admiral Funko in the lead. Jay Lee, Sassy Cajun, Pop Harbor, and Kayla. I have a feeling it's going to be between these five for the end of it. Pokemon. Which of these Pokemon have a gender ratio of 100% female? Fritzy, oh, here's your question. Magirna, Mandibuzz, or Gardevoir? People are thinking. <laughs> I don't know Pokemon. I was going to be nice and do just the original 151, and I was like, nope. I'm going to be mean. I might have got it if it was one of the original Pokemon. <laughs> well, there weren't that many. Uh, in fact, I think there was only just like one or two. Uh, 100% female in that one. Only three people got that one right. So Alolan Vulpix has a 75% chance to be uh, female, just like regular Vulpix. Magirna, like most mythical Pokemon, is genderless. Gardevoir, despite looking extremely feminine, is still 50-50 male or female. So Mandibuzz is 100% female. <clears throat> Sassy Cajun got up. I don't think any of the others on this podium got it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Sassy Cajun took the lead on that one. Okay, Disney. Who is this? Rapunzel and Lady Train, Ariel and Maleficent, Snow White and Ursula, or Cinderella and the Queen of Hearts? From what? <laughs> <laughs> is this from? Is this from the TV show? Maybe. I didn't get the that kind of answer. You don't get that either. You know it or you don't. 
I say from what? Like, is it from like Once Upon a Time or something? Because it's like. Okay. I think most people got it right still. So that was from Once Upon a Time season seven. So on that, st uh, without giving too much of the plot away, Rapunzel does become Cinderella's stepmother in that storyline. So, and if I was talking to Cherie about this when we were doing it, if you watch season seven as part of Once Upon a Time, you know, the first seasons, you're not gonna like it, but if you think of it more as a standalone kind of thing, you'll fall in love with it because the curveballs they throw at you, it'll keep you watching. But okay, Emerald somehow got that one right despite her complaining. So <laughs> Sassy Cajun, Pop Harbor, Jay Lee, and Tats. I know I'm not scrolling down like Tylock, -like, but I don't care. In the Librarians, Cassandra's first on-screen kiss was with a person of what species? Witch, ghost, goddess, or vampire? And this is another series I would recommend. If you liked Buffy to me, the first season, not so much, but the rest of it, I feel like if you liked Buffy, you might like this series. Because it has the same kind of humor as Buffy did. Yeah, I need to go back and just like sit through it till I like it. Maybe we can exchange DVDs. Y'all can send me whatever crap y'all want me to watch, and I can send you the DVD box. I want you to watch all the crap. <laughs> so only four people got that one right. It wasn't a ghost, like some people. See, uh, I said ghost. It happened in the very last season. It took forever for us to get an on-screen kiss for Cassandra, but eventually it happened. So third place, Admiral Funko. Pop Harbor for second. And Sassy Cajun. So let me write these down real quick. Congratulations, y'all. Did way better than me. <laughs> I think Tylot gave up after a little bit. I think so. Yeah, he's he's really waiting. I'm waiting for him to say something. But <sighs> okay, stop sharing. Okay, so Cassie say cat. I keep saying it wrong. Sassy Cajun, you were the first one. So you get to choose between the magnets, Tiffany stickers, or the cheetah Funko Pop. And you can choose whichever one you want. You won't hurt our feelings, I promise. <coughs> and then Pop Harbor, you get ready because you're going to be the next one to pick. There he is. Here's the thing, after Cherie was so bad at it, <laughs> I was going to go through and like change a couple of the answers around, like one of the questions around. But then I was like, I want to see what Tylock says about this. <laughs> so I did it for you, Tylock. Okay, she wants the cheetah. Okay. Okay, so Pop Harbor, which one do you want? Do you want the uh, Magnus or the uh, stickers? I do not know how to spell the word Cajun. I will be right back. I wrote it down. Okay. Tylock was raiding Daniel's room for Star Wars Grail steering it. I wouldn't be surprised. That kid's not going to have anything left by the time he moves out of that house because his parents keep stealing it all. What the hell's going on with our camera? Tylock, did you leave Cherie with a faulty camera? The aliens are taking over. <laughs> Magnets, please. Okay, so Tiffany, you get to keep your stickers. <laughs> well, it's. Well, I was about to say, oh, I can keep out. I don't, know, but I, I don't count if if whoever was after me. Uh, whoever was after you was probably Jay Lee. So I think he was fourth in that one. Hang on, let me let me go through and see who was after you after because it doesn't show after the very last question. So let me go through after the Disney one and see. <clears throat> oh, God. That's the who sucked. <laughs> well, now you know what it feels like. Hi, that was what everyone was feeling during that ad icon quiz. God. Don't tell Cherie I came in here. We won't, I promise. Your secret's safe. 
my god <laughs> that's worse than the jasmine uh mama jay you just showed up for the craziness yeah jay lee was next after you so jay lee gets on. okay i'm sorry I'm, bye oh my god, you're over. Raku, who <laughs> thank you <laughs> Oh, uh, so Jay Lee gets the trigger. What the heck? <laughs> they turned the light off on me on the way out the door. Uh, that was amazing. Well, Jay Lee, after you get done, you catch your breath again, you get Tiffany stickers. Okay, so the winners of those three can message me or the other two directly. Uh, Cherie's Instagram is linked in the description box below. Uh, Amaral forgot to do yours. Mine's linked on my channel. Uh, but you can message either either of us on Instagram. And we'll get them sent out to you. Yeah, no. Sassy's Sarah, that, that wasn't the camera. That was Tylock. <laughs> we made the camera glitch. Oh, we thought we were being possessed or something. I, I totally forgot that I had this. You want to give those out instead or put... No, 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 no. But it's... Uh, it's if there's a specific character that Jay Lee would like along with it, like I got Harvey, I got Ghostface. You can pick out any character and he'll know it. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I, I, I'll send a couple. I'll, I'll send some goodies. I know people are like, oh, stickers. Uh, I don't see any toys, kids account. I see collectibles. It's personal. Collectibles? These are not toys. No. Depends on who owns them, I guess. But, <clears throat> that was fun. I'm sure I'm going to be hearing about it when I'm on their next live stream in a couple weeks. So, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> As I was making it, I knew <laughs> that he was going to... I didn't know he was going to do that. But I knew he was going to say something, and it was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. But for anyone well, who wants know, to... Bring that I'm really committed. I brushed his wig out for him. Because it was a mess. Uh, you shouldn't have done it. It would have been funnier with a rat's nest. But <laughs> the magnets, well, keep a lookout on my Instagram. Uh, I'll post them whenever I get envelopes. I have, an, I have one envelope left to send these two out. So I need to get envelopes for the rest of them. And then I'll post them on Instagram and then put them on my Etsy. But They are awesome. We have our two right there. <clears throat> Tiffany's was the first one I ever made. And the first one I sent out. That's why yours is a heart-shaped. Tiffany's got the heart shape because I didn't have a circle shape back then. <laughs> so she was the only one that got the heart. Got rid of the scrubber. Yes. She made me a milky one. I still don't awesome. get Jack's coloring right. I can put my kitties on there too. That's super freaking cool. I used a super scratched up button to make those cats, and I'm surprised they came out half as good as they did. I like mine, though. Tyler, like if you're claiming that's your real hair, we're going to need to see it in every video from now on, along with the unicorn shirt. I mean, I can make that happen. <laughs> okay, how many people are going to kill me when they find out I've never played Mario? Nothing Mario ever. I played my best friend. I wasn't, this is going to sound bad. I was never allowed to go over to my friend's houses ever. I was allowed once, well, twice. Once for a birthday party and one when one of my best friends was moving away. When she moved away, that was the one time I played Super Mario Brothers. Because we got to spend the day together and she made me play. After that, no. I just feel like I want to bundle you up and just like... <laughs> Like bring you home with me to like have all these experiences. You want to raise me, to raise me yeah, the right like, way. Put that room, like tape her eyes open and watch this. Right? I, I had, had to, need to have an intervention. I had a Nintendo 64, but the I know I had more games, but the only one I remember playing on it was Rugrats. There was a Rugrats Nintendo 64 game, and that was it. You didn't have like Mario Paint with your 64? No. I still have the 64. It's in the closet upstairs. And I don't I don't think there's any games for it still, but I have the still same I still have the console. 
I know who Wario is. I just never played the games. I, I just I just don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> and I watched my ex play. Kayla remembers that where okay, they <laughs> changed the chat. There we go. Kayla remembers the Rugrats game. I don't remember the Rugrats game. <clears throat> I wasn't into Pokemon yet when I had that. Um, my first Pokemon game was Fire Red and Leaf Green. So Gen 3. Okay, so is the links not working for anyone else, or are they good? I thought you fixed them. Well, people were still saying they were having trouble, but I still saw so many people do it. If anyone has not uh, entered yet, I'm going to enter them one more time in the chat, because there are some people that just came through. Okay, well, post them. So, Jaylee, I had that same question about that movie last night. What? There, oh, no. well, he, he got a movie yesterday and then I like found it on Amazon. So I, we were watching it last night and like you can't make noise or the zombies come and then like everybody's like shooting them. Oh yeah, I heard about that one. Okay, so this one is for Red Hood from James. Thank you again, James. He's probably watching silently, uh, <clears throat> which is perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. He knows I love him. Okay, that one works. And this one is for that one. That's one that raises. Look at. So this one is for the Betty Boop Diamond by me. Same hashtag. If I can type. Betty Boop. And then the last one is for the Unicorn Crochet Plush and the. Uh, Harley Pop from Homespun Queen okay. and Jasmine. And that one works. And if anybody just came in, this is what talking about. <clears throat> yes. As soon as I asked Cherie to be a part of this, she said, let me get out my sewing needles. So <laughs> she was on this pretty quickly. It is one skill that I would love to learn because I do want to make a giant crochet blanket for my king size bed. Yeah. And I know that blankets are easy, but they are tedious. It will take you months to do it. Well, that, that's like the, the thing is like sometimes I get into my depression like really, really bad where I'm just sitting on the couch. So just like to be able to do something with my hands while I'm sitting there watching something. That's normally when I do it. Yeah, it's just actually it's a lot better, which is <laughs> well. I, I just posted like two videos, but you know, if you're serious, I'm here. I'll answer questions. I'll help you get through it. Oh, on the crusade or the depression part? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we're friends. We can double us both. Oh, um, yeah. So the links are posted above. I just posted them again, and if anyone to go around, they can do it. Um. I had one sewing kit, you know, like those little craft kits that you can get when you're a kid. Mm -hmm. I had one. I got halfway through it, and I stopped. I was really into it for, like, the first couple of days I tried it. Never finished it. You know those latch hook kits we always had as a kid? What? Maybe that was my, the latch hook, like the little rug things. You like yeah, pull that's what I had. Yeah. 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 I got, like, a quarter through, like, 15 of them and then just couldn't finish them. You can watch it on the playback. I, Tylock, I want that to be one of the emojis we can use in the Discord. <laughs> I want that to happen tonight. No, okay. The processing ones are going to wait a little while. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know, the PWO Discord that Tylock and Sheree run is open to the public. So yes, anyone can chat on, get on there and chat. They do not talk about wrestling. If they were, I wasn't going to be on it. Um, in fact, Tylock had to come and say if I wanted to be on it. She, he's like, I don't, we don't talk about wrestling. And then I, I mean, it's not like a taboo subject. We could talk about wrestling, but, yeah. but no. It's like, mainly just Funko. Things. It's mainly just Funko and then whatever the hell we're all doing in our lives. Tylock's so. tail was a conversation point today. Yes. And so. all, all of our links are on there. Everyone who's on there and has a YouTube channel is on there. He just put... I haven't done it yet, but there's a spot for our Teespring pages up there now. Uh, I need to put mine on there, but uh, 
No, let's I mean, not talk about it. Of like Tylock as a pirate and Fritzy just like totally upset with everybody. <laughs> Whenever y'all, I mean, I still watch throughout of all, but whenever y'all get on a wrestling kick in the live streams, I'm just like, <laughs> waiting for something to happen, and I'm just gonna listen for my name or anything. So, <laughs> for my name. So, like, your attention while we're live streaming during a pay per view. I got to say your name, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see if I can get the random. Comment picker. Uh, I don't know which one Tylock uses, but I'm just going to use the regular one. I don't really know. I know we had to change it. I understand why, because the random comment picker, it's good, but sometimes I wonder just how random it is. Well, no, we, we stopped using the one we used to use because it wasn't working. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's always worked for me. Okay, that's not it, though. Yes, we are going to do a SummerSlam PWO live stream. So, oh, I by accident. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I didn't. Okay, it's the same one. They just had a weird ad at the top. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> okay, so which one should we do first? Red Hood, Unicorn, or Betty Boop, guys? I'm going to let y'all choose. I bet your boss loves hearing that, Tyler. <laughs> Stop okay. working during okay. summer school. About the, the comment picker. <clears throat> they are random YouTube channels, Matthew. You hashtag it in their uh, comment section, and that's how you enter. <clears throat> you better hurry up, because people, Sarah really wants the unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone gotten the new Red Hood with the death stroke? It's it's a boring background, but I absolutely love the look of those pops together. I don't it think so. Red Hood. They, they made it six previews exclusive that just came out. It's Red Hood versus Death Stroke. Oh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't think we got that one. I love to start ordered it and I don't know. Which will happen because I didn't know we had the solo and carbonite or <laughs> Princess Leia pop, or so you know. Oh, they're doing, they're huh? making concept art pops now for Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. It's cool. Mm -hmm. My child is super excited. My Funko's doing that. Yeah. So for Star Wars, I, I just remember them see, seeing the you know the concept art for like Boba Fett and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They're taking the concept art and making them into pops. Yes. Mm -hmm. For like but the galactic thing? That's yeah, out. they're calling them con I was going to bring this up earlier. Hold on. We have Google. It's funny. Er earlier, I was like, hey, Caitlin, so the, the time I'm supposed to be on is 9 o'clock my time, right? And she's like, I don't know. And then we both Googled at the same time. It's like, I could easily have Googled it, but I asked her. Like, I mean, you can get her for every answer. <laughs> I didn't know anything about time zones until I started getting into Funko. I'm like, okay, it they drop at 11 o'clock their time. What is that for me? So <laughs> that's the only reason I learned about time zones. We never learned about time zones in school. No. That or I was absent that day. I've learned more about time zones since we started being YouTubers than I ever have in my life. And yes, Mama J, we is my other name. That's our middle name. <laughs> well, in Arizona, we don't change our time zone for like you know, daylight savings and stuff like that. There, there's specifically Arizona time. So I didn't get time zones until I left for the military. And I'm like, oh, there's, huh, okay. Yeah. So Star, Star Wars is calling it the concept series for the 2020 Galactic Convention. I just pulled it up. They look kind of weird. But they do look weird, but we're going to have to, <laughs> we're probably going to buy two of all of them. Yeah. I'll probably that person buy. is very lucky, Funko relatively. That's what happened. So. <laughs> it has happened before on my channel, I believe. So I'm glad I got Darth Revan on pre-order. I didn't know who Darth Revan was. He just looked cool. So I pre-ordered him and then I found out his backstory and they're like, and then the pop before I even had it in my hands was at like a hundred bucks. I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah. We have two of the both of that whole series because Daniel's got one and we have one. 
Okay, let's go. They said they wanted the unicorn one, so that's what we're gonna do. Let me share the screen again. Figure out how to do it without any mishaps this time. The other time I forgot to click a certain button. So this one's for the unicorn, this one's for Ray's Chaos. So we wanted to promote him. If you haven't subscribed to him yet, please do so. I would consider it a personal favor. Primary care of Telfair. I don't know who that is, but I love that username. Oh my God, that's amazing. So are they here? We'll say that. If you're not here, I don't know. Should we give it to them or should we wait for someone to come in? I didn't think that far ahead. It's whatever you want to do. I'd rather them be here so we'll know. Well, I've never heard that name before. So. Me neither. Mumbai, this is my boyfriend. See, I can't, I'm, I'm single, so I just have a standee of, of a stand, of a bad stand, because, you know, I can't, oh, no. I can't get a man in real life. So you have to win on the primary account for it to count. <laughs> no, there it is. Okay, there he is. So you got the Betty Boop of primary care. So please uh, message me on my Instagram. I did not link it in this one because I'm stupid, but it's linked in all my other videos and it's linked on the banner on my channel. So just let me know and I will get that sent out to you. And let me write your name down so I'm not stupid and forget. And if your Instagram name is different than your YouTube name, let me know who the hell you are. Because that's happened before too. <laughs> so and if you don't have Instagram, email me at Funko Pops Unicorns at gmail.com. So <clears throat> let's get I didn't even see what his we got him up a few subscribers, it looks like. So well, I'm yeah. happy for that. He's at 71. He was in the 50s before. So, oh, and we've had, about, we've had about 20 or so people in the chat. So, awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, the next one, let's do. Oh, wait. No, that one. Yeah, that one was for the Betty Boop. I clicked on the wrong video for that one. So, I was going to do the unicorn first, but yeah, I got confused for a minute. <laughs> Because I got everyone going in different ones. So this one's for the unicorn. If I can get it. I changed the look of my keyboard for this because I can see it better under this light and it's throwing me off a little bit. Because usually my keyboard has backlights on it. So now I'm searching for keys that I know where the hell they are. So <laughs> Okay, so then this one is for... The unicorn. I'm sorry that I got confused. That's so primary okay. here, you got the boop anyway. So, <laughs> so let's share the screen again. One of these days, I'm gonna get used to it. So probably won't be anytime soon, but one of these days. So this one's for the unicorn and Harley, and that one is Mama J. Hey, Mama J. Awesome. So Mama J got the unicorn and Harley Quinn. And again, Mama J and Kiki Mama G Geeky Mama Bear is going to be on, um, we have to get that comment off, uh, Ty Locke's channel, Ty Locke and Cherie's live stream yep. Monday night. That's it. That's it. And that more ridiculous cahoots. I don't know what they are yet. We'll know till tomorrow night, probably. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to do the Red Hood. And this one, again, is being given away by James Dieter. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, I don't know what you're doing with your life. He's literally one of the nicest guys on YouTube. He is the only, only YouTuber that has made both me and Tyler cry. That is true. 100% true. Yeah. I cried with the hot girl print and the, I almost cried with the Wonder Woman. I came close, but I really cried on the hot girl and you could hear it in my voice and you could see the tear on the, I don't know his name. <laughs> Piper. You ever see the canvases he got me of Loki? Yeah, he sent me a pic of that before he even sent it to you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to freak out. When I, when I open it, I'm like, <gasps> Like, like happiness. Like, he sent me Loki as a Navy officer and then Loki as Loki. And I was just like, 
If anyone doesn't know, Loki's the cat. Yeah, Loki, my cat Loki as Loki. As Loki kid. Piper. I knew it was Piper something. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Tyler, that I didn't know. But Okay, so this one is for... What is it, last Red Hood. <clears throat> so, let's get that. Mama J, you won the Unicorn and Harley Quinn. Yeah, so you can message Cherie, which would probably be faster, or you can go ahead and do and message me. And Sean is here, finally. And I misclicked on his Hi. name. <clears throat> Hi, Sean. Thank you again for helping me out with the virtual con, because... You were a godsend. He's another amazing guy. Yes, and he's very active in the Discord. Yes. Candyman Rip got the Red Hood, so yeah, you can message you can message James on Instagram, or you can message me, and I'll get the the information uh, sent over to him for that one. So I know who Mama J and Candy Rip are, so we don't have to confirm those. <laughs> So, no offense, primary care, but none of us know who the hell you are. But but that's okay. We love new people. There's plenty of people who are backstage all the time. And to be honest, that's how I lived. I, I was following Tiffany's channel for six months before I said anything in the comments section. Stalker. <laughs> and then she became my first subscriber. <laughs> so it worked. You to put yourself out there? Yeah. I kind of had to beg for it. I said I only I said I only have one subscriber on my YouTube channel. It was me. So she went over and subscribed and became the actual first one. So it that's good. how that friendship started. Did, well, for, for Nerd Crew, Nerd Crew started messaging me. Brian started messaging me. And I thought he was a kid. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was a like I thought I, because I'm not used to people. I wasn't used to people just talking to me. And in the beginning, like I just being nice and subscribing to everybody. Yeah. And I was like, get yeah, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And then like it's it, it surprises me what turns into friendships, and it's it's great. Yeah. You know. I get. I'm getting a lot of subscribers from Franklin. He posted about the live stream, uh, live stream too, because he couldn't come because it's his birthday. So if anyone hasn't messaged Franklin yet and told him happy birthday, please do so. <clears throat> but give him some birthday love. Tyler yes. did, did say what one of the cahoots is gonna be. Apparently we're playing yes. Doctor Who. So Caitlin, go watch all of Doctor Who. Oh bull. <laughs> that doc I know I know Doctor Who looking long. Wasn't that in like black and white first? And then <laughs> it was. All I know about Doctor Who was apparently there was a lizard woman lesbian at some point because I kept my best friend kept sending me the clips from it. <laughs> Guess that. I know. And the TARDIS. I know what the TARDIS is. That's it. So I started watching Doctor Who in season nine and it was Christmas time and I was just trying to get into it. And my mom was out for Christmas and she told me to turn it off because she was getting annoyed. So forward six months later this woman is quoting doctor who to me and i was like wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, you didn't you didn't want to watch doctor who and now you do and then now she's watched everything and i, I stopped after matt smith and i was like and she, you watch all this stuff I'm like <laughs> what did i do and she has all the doctor who pops it's just like okay i, I have bread madness that's pretty hilarious. We, we were watching like the black and white stuff with the kid, like from the very beginning. And, uh, but we're watching a lot. So, you know, we started doing that. I mean, I asked the best friend that I'm talking about, I asked her, okay, I know there's going to be a lady, Doctor Who now. Is it something that I could pick up and watch when she joins? And, uh, and she was like, no. Not so, right. like, well, then I'm not watching it. I think we could. You're just gonna have to go back and like read stuff. I think yeah. you start with see, the ninth Doctor, which is Christopher Eccleston, which is when they started. Like the it's the more modern series. I think it's I don't know what season it is, but you can start with the ninth Doctor, and they explain it pretty well. I I think if you start the thirteenth Doctor, there's gonna be so many references to the other other ones. It's just like yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. So. Because there are some times where they reference back to the older ones or like characters that he had met when he was a different doctor. You kind of have to go, oh, oh, but <laughs> go back and Google it. Like, what the hell is he talking about? Exactly. You can start wherever. You just have to do some research to understand what's going on. I've done that 
like in between seasons, like when they wait a year and then make another season, I'm like, what is this referring to again? Because I don't remember from the previous season. So I'm, not, I'm very familiar with Googling stuff. And then I usually end up getting spoiled over something when I get into Google. I knew the entire plot of Buffy the Vampire Slayer before I started watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, that's I got on Google train too much. <laughs> I think the only thing I've really done that with was that lock and key on Netflix because watching it gave me such bad anxiety. Like I, I needed to know what was going to happen before we watched it. I remember I was Googling and then I realized that Tara died because I was just in the season where she and Willow were getting together. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, crap, I kind of want to stop now. <laughs> I pulled, I went through, I've seen every episode of Buffy and I've read the first two seasons of the comics, I think. Yeah. But <clears throat> I finally stopped. The only time I was spoiled was uh, when I was playing The Witcher 3 and I was trying to look something up and I found out a character died that I didn't want to die. And I'm not going to spoil it. If you've never played The Witcher 3, so I'm just not even going to say who it is because the series is being filmed and he's going to be in the next series. So it's just like, I, like when it happened, I was like, what? Everybody, be prepared to be upset. Okay, what's your what's your least favorite character? I'm not gonna say most hated because now Cherie's reaction what? has me scared for that. Oh no, I was reacting to Admiral, not not to him. Oh okay. <laughs> you know, you don't want like a good character. Like you, you start to like a character just because of who he is. It's just like and like oh well, that, that sucks. I wanted to get to know him more, but no, we gotta off him. I thought Tara was cute. You know, as her personality, I thought it contrasted pretty well with some of the others. I didn't. She wasn't my favorite character by any means. Mopey, like yeah, quiet, or there was just something that wasn't like. Well, I liked that she was so shy and kind of jittery because I was too. Um, but yeah, she wasn't my favorite. But her death still like punched me. I was like, crap. <laughs> yeah. But no, she wasn't my favorite at all. Uh trying to think it was no i don't even have to think it was giles giles was my favorite oh i love giles i love giles you know so much. I love him in the repo man musical <laughs> the genetic opera is what that's it's the called. best yes. i love I mean, yeah. yes kids account we see you <laughs> you. i told you're the one that made me reveal that i didn't play mario so and it was hot, for sure. She was at the convention, and then she was just like everywhere. She just kept walking around. I haven't seen any. I haven't met anyone from Buffy. It'd be kind of cool. Oh my god, Spike was amazing. James Marshers was amazing to meet. Like I, I would have been home with him. I haven't met that many. I haven't been to that many conventions. Jason David Frank, uh, Kevin Conroy. And a handful of Power Rangers, other Power Rangers. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, no, Spike. We were first in line to like go take the picture with Spike. And because, you know, we, we just have to be first. I guess it's like a Funko thing. You have to be first in that line. Yeah. So you can see like kind of behind the curtain. So we saw him like walk up and he was like yeah. talking to the people. And I was like, hi. Oh, and then he waved back at me. And I was like, oh, he waved at me. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty great. Kayla, so does Tylot. We've discussed this before previously, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Spike is on both of our lists. You know those lists? Like, like when you have somebody, you've got that list. I will say later on, he kind of jarred with Giles as my top because I liked his storyline mm -hmm. a lot. But I, for some reason, I've always liked like the Alfred Payneworth the characters, which I saw Giles as. He was. There, so... Yes, I just always love characters like that. So, Kayla, you're in the right group. <laughs> I love the villains. I do too. The villains are always my favorite. Mm -hmm. Tiffany's got a whole arm full of them, mm -hmm. and I'm not talking about the cat. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a Mario thing? Mm -hmm. Are we done snuggling? I have no idea. I have no idea. <clears throat> I kind of feel like they're just throwing out ridiculous stuff. I see him a lot in my comments. I think they're harmless. 
<clears throat> think. Cody, boys are allowed, but boys and dresses get extra points. So yes, or wigs. Wigs or get out. <laughs> Jack the boy. Yes. Well, the fur coat counts as a wig. So. <laughs> But you're late. You are late. Where the heck have you been? So Cody, I forgot to talk about Cody's thing. So Cody, every Monday after Husband uh, Geek gets done with their live stream, uh, pretty much immediately after about 30 minutes after Popular Opinion goes live doing their Wheel of Misfortune or his Wheel of Misfortune. And uh, it's like Wheel of Fortune, but worse. Uh, because Cody's the one in charge of it. Um, Wheel of Misfortune. And he'll put like a word that's like seven letters long. You gotta go through the whole alphabet before you get them. Um, but I will say, if they, if I don't know who's the next uh, pair that he's got going up on that, but if it's a guy versus a girl, vote for the girl. Yes, he has rigged this so that the only time a girl has won has lost is when they were going up against another girl. If it's a guy versus a girl, the girl has always won. Doesn't matter I mean, who it is. As it should be, as it should be. Because Sheree was the first and she was horrible at it, yet she still managed to win. <laughs> Just so because I couldn't spell Carlos, okay? I'm sorry. It literally had, it's, she had to spell it out and read it off the screen. Without guessing any of the extra letters, but she hasn't been the only one that's done that. But she oh was the first. I felt so stupid afterwards too, and you have no idea when it was like down to the final, like like last letter, and I couldn't get it. And then I like had to guess another one. Ty was like, you know, there are no more. It's got to be a vowel because I was just gonna guess like a random letter. Um, <laughs> vowel. Then I had two left, and I'm like, I guess I'm just gonna go with an O, and it was right. Like, I had no idea what that word was. Uh, but it was awesome. Yes, girls are smart. Uh, well, that's one who can't spell can't spell names. It's okay. I can't spell spell either. Spell. I can't spell either. But it is very fu fun. He's had so many. He's had a really big variety of people on so far, and it hasn't even been going on probably a little over a month now. Um, so it is a fun, fun watch. Uh, I will say it's probably not something you want to watch if you have to get up early the next day for work. Um, but if you have a few hours to spare on a Monday night, that is how you do it because it's very much fun. Uh, it's him, his good friend, uh, James. Uh, when Words Fail, Music Speaks is his uh, YouTube name. And then he always has uh, a pair on there to battle each other to the death on the wheel. <clears throat> so, yes, it's his own version of the death wheel where the men always die. Right. So, I can get behind this one. The only time a guy's won, he it was Eric going up against uh, was it Professor Joss? I think that's the only time a guy's won when it was two guys put together. So the last week, <laughs> he had, when would have been? <laughs> last week he had uh, pops with purpose on. Faith beat her dad pretty badly. So again, the girl won. Yeah. So, I haven't watched Scoob yet. I need to buy it and watch it because I'm very interested. Nine ninety nine on Voodoo last weekend, so we bought it and watched it. It was all right. I saw where they were starting. I loved the new movies of Scooby Doo where they had like Don Knotts or like the Harley Globetrotters on for an episode mm -hmm. in the olden days, and apparently they redid it and it's on Amazon. Where yeah. they had like uh, Penn and Teller and Wanda Sykes. On there now, and I'm like, Weird. this is interesting. I watched the Wanda Sykes episode; it was hilarious. I <laughs> could imagine so. Yes, and it had uh, Mr. Peeper Peoples in it. From they have a lot of old Hanna Barbera on there, apparently. Cool. So, it's fun. My favorite Scooby Doo is like the Boo Brothers or the Ghoul School. Those are my favorites. Yes, I love those. I loved. I wanted the Hex Girls to be the real band. <laughs> I've had I had a playlist of all their music, even if it was like thirty seconds long, because it was just a snip in the movie. Yeah. But thank you, Cody. You could have been on here sooner to congratulate me, but I'll take it. I love you enough to take it. So, <laughs> so again, for the winners, before we wrap it up, so Stag and Pops gets the Red Hood. You can message James or me. Uh, Mama J got the Unicorn and the Harley. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can message Cherie or me. Uh, Ghoul School is my favorite. I have a plush uh, 
werewolf. I named it after werewolf in ghoul school. Awesome. So, and it's on my bed and I literally sleep with it every night. And I am man enough to admit that. So primary care gets the Betty Boop. You can message me on Instagram or email me. And then also Pop Harbor can message me for the magnets. Jay Lee, you get the stickers from Tiffany. And uh, Cassie Sajan, you get the uh, Cheetah Pop from Cherie. So you message us all on Instagrams. The Reluctant Werewolf was okay. I didn't... The girlfriend was just... Where did that girlfriend come from? And why is she suddenly a main character? I didn't like her (laughs) at all. But anyway... (sighs) That'd be cute. I saw uh, a while back fan made trailers for like a Magic School Bus movie and then like Captain Planet movie. And I was like, okay, I want this to be a real thing now. Mm-hmm. Magic School Bus would be fun. Yeah. No, I'm not a Oh. Okay, good. Okay, so everyone knows what they won and what they didn't win because Fritzy apparently doesn't know how to post links. So. Darn it, Fritzy. I want to very much thank uh, Admiral Funko and uh, Homespun Queen for coming on here tonight with me. It was awesome. Dan, we've been talking about doing this live stream for ever. So glad you made it happen. (laughs) Lonnie was going to be here tonight, but due to a family emergency, she couldn't, but her link uh, for their channel is in the description box below. Uh, I believe Jason, if nothing happens, I mean, it's a family emergency, it could change, but I saw saw Jason post that they're going to be live with Dr. Applesauce tomorrow night, if that still pans out. I did see that. So you guys can check her out there. And uh, I thank everyone who became a new subscriber. I know a lot of people were putting it out there to push this past and finally make this night happen. So I very much appreciate it. Um, well even though I lost it, it by throwing me on the bus. So, um, but I very much appreciate it. I absolutely love these two. They've been my family since the start of YouTube. So I was very happy for this night to come. But we are going to end it. We've been going on about two hours now. So we're going to let y'all go. And I'm sure other people are live tonight. It's Saturday. So thank you all for coming in. Again, the winners, please message us. And we will get them out as soon as possible to you. But the mail is crap lately. So don't count on it being there tomorrow. So (laughs) thank you all so much for watching. Remember to go look at all the channels in the description box below that we linked. And for the ones we linked for the giveaways. Because they're all amazing channels. And uh, like I always say, guys, remember it's a community, not a competition. And we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. Good night.